Hello, thanks for joining me. This video is part two of exploring the Hancock Tunnel Channel. Part one was a bicycle ride and exploration of the western two or three kettles, four kettles I suppose. So right now I am in the middle of the tunnel channel the length of it roughly at the Ice Age Trail segment on Bone Lake. And this video is going to be kind of a compilation of the bike ride videos plus some some new videos here to, to show you the rest of the lakes in this tunnel channel system. So right now I am smoking An old pipe. This is a town and country. It's a line from the Bradbury Pipe Company. Um, this is a limited edition Virgin Briar town and country. It's a very nice smoking pipe. Similar to the old Dr. Graybow's with the adjust matic stem, this is a screw bit with a stinger on it. The only difference is this is not is this is not adjustable, so there's no cranking on this to get the alignment correct. But this one is fairly straight on. And those screw bits are. are are really kind of nice for cleaning when they're warm or if you get a clog you can just unscrew it. But as I said as the joint wears the stem is going to come out of alignment so I don't know how many decades it'll take for that to happen but this one hasn't come close to coming out of alignment. can always pull it out, put some epoxy in, and reset the, the metal threads, but hasn't been necessary yet. In this Rhodesian from a long time ago, I am smoking some Yulee's Golden Shag, which is one of Yulee's English style tobaccos. It is Orientals, Virginia. Latakia and Perique. Now it is very, 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 very similar to Bishop's Move, only it has less Latakia in it. So if you're not a fan of heavy Latakias or medium Latakias, Golden Shag is, is kind of nice. You definitely can taste the Latakia, but it's not overpowering. So I don't want to make this a long video. Let's get off to the tunnel channel and the various lakes along it. The last video we started the exploration of this Hancock Tunnel Channel at the village park between Pine Lake and Fish Lake here. Uh, that is where the Whistler Mounds group is located. So we saw Pine Lake or Hancock Lake, the two fish lakes that are connected by a very small channel. There is a small round lake here, and there's also a deer lake here, which are on private property, and I can't really get a shot of. Same story for Crooked Lake. I, there's, it's just too overgrown to get any, any shots of the actual kettle. So right now we are at Bone Lake, part of the Ice Age Trail. The red section is the Ice Age Trail. And I'll give you some, some shots of Bone Lake, and then we'll head over to... Lyman Lake, um, may be able to see a little bit of Uek Lake, and then we'll finish at the county park at Morrow Lake. So, hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you in a bit.
as you can see, the green area in front is the former extent of this lake. This is Bone Lake. And there's still water, which is hard to see from this angle since I'm maybe half a foot above the actual surface of the water. Um, bad camera angle. We'll see what other pictures we can get along the way. Perhaps the camera work is more impressive when you see the expedition is traipsing through poison ivy. There's one large erratic here, one rhyolite boulder just sort of sitting on the edge of the halfway up the depression. And then the kettle, the tunnel channel and the kettle lake below. And here we are at the George Sorensen Natural Area at Hartford Lake. You're going to find this area is very confused as far as naming. So this on the map we were looking at is actually referenced as Lyman Lake. It's now Hartford Lake. The area is George Sorensen Natural Area. But as you'll find the actual trail system in here is at, named after John Minan. A view from the dock, swimming pier at Lyman Lake. This lake is now actually called Hartford Lake. Um, not sure when the name changed, why the name changed. I assume it's because of the prior landowner's name. But this lake and this land that surrounds most of the lake is now a county park and through this property there there weaves a, a network of hiking trails like it just shot of the trail map here in a moment okay there's a shot of the hiking trails none of them are very long but it's a hilly topography so some of the trails go up pretty steep hills but this is the George Sorensen Natural Area at Hartford Lake, formerly Lyman Lake. And now the hiking trail system is now named in honor of John Minan, who apparently has passed away. John Minan apparently laid out and maintained these trails. and a functioning pump. You don't find those around very much anymore. Down in that depression is what's left of Uik Lake. It's more of a marsh, eutrophic kettle than it is a, a lake any longer. And I get you a closer shot. Except we'll obey that. A 
slightly better view of the connection, the tunnel channel between Marl Lake there behind the trees and Uick Lake off in that direction. A little bit of a marshy tunnel below. We have now arrived at the last Kettle Lake in this tunnel channel. There are a bunch of people swimming and it is a, a warm day so we'll, we'll take the trail around the lake and come in in the middle of it where there'll be fewer people. We've come to almost the end of the trail and we're just starting now to see the lake to the right and in front of the trail. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the videos. So that's it for today. Hope you're all doing well. Take care and perhaps I'll see you again.